New video cards from NVIDIA with the tag LHR, also known as Light Hash Rate or Limited Hash Rate. But there's been a new development. Not all of these cards will have the Ethereum Hash Limiter. Today I'll be showing you which cards won't have the Light Hash Limiter. Stay tuned. Okay, so some new news that I came across is that there will be no anti-mining LHR versions of existing NVIDIA Founder Edition graphics cards. So that means that the RTX 3080 and the 3070s and the 3060 Ti's GPUs will not have a mining limiter on the Founder's Edition and it will just be present on the third-party cards. In this article that I'll put a link for in the description below, states that the new light hash rate NVIDIA graphics cards will only appear in third-party versions of its GeForce RTX 3080, RTX 3070 and RTX 3060 Ti GPUs, as NVIDIA has no plans to make Founders Edition versions with the Ethereum hash rate limiter in place. The Cream Team today announced via blog post that all RTX 3080, 3070 and 3060 Ti cards shipping from towards the end of May will come with a limiter that deliberately halves the Ethereum mining performance of the cards when the Dagger Hashimoto algorithm for Ethereum is detected. So here again, it's only mentioning mining on the Ethereum algorithm. It's not saying anything about the other algorithms, so there, miners can still potentially mine without any issues hash limiter or no hash limiter. The limiter was first introduced with the RTX 3060, and we all know what happened there. The new light hash rate LHR series GPUs will be designated as such by NVIDIA's graphics cards partners, so partners such as EVGA for example, Gigabyte, Palette and all the rest, with the LHR identifier listed in retail and on the boxes themselves. So like I mentioned in a previous video, make sure that you look out for the LHR tag, especially if you're a miner and you don't want to have your hash rate limited in half. I do mine as well. And honestly speaking, halving the hash rate or not, it is still profitable to have those cards, but it all depends on the price point that they're going to be released at. So I'm suspecting that probably the Founders Edition will be a bit more expensive due to the fact that miners will also be grabbing these as well. Another piece of information is that the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti boxes we've seen in various leaks make no mention at all of any LHR series branding. But it also looks like the Founder Edition cards of the original RTX 30 series aren't going to get the LHR treatment either. So this is just a piece of information I wanted to share with you all. So even though there will be a light hash rate limiter on third-party board cards, there's not going to be a light hash rate limiter on the Founders Edition of these cards, which will probably make the Founders Edition card also harder to find as well. The article goes on to say that this could effectively signal the RTX 3080, 3070 and RTX 3060 Ti Founder Edition cards being completely end of life with no hope of return. So I'll just put a link down to this article in the description below and have a read through this as well. And you can also research some other articles as well. But I thought I would share this with you since recently I had released a video stating that there are going to be light hash rate cards to be released on the RTX 3060, 3070 and 3060 Ti's. And this kind of puts a spin on things a bit when it comes to the Foundation Edition cards. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you to all who have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by clicking on the big red button below. Hit the like, take care of yourselves, and until next time, thanks for watching.